In today's video, I am going to be breaking down Luka Doncic and how he shoots the basketball. He is clearly one of the best shooters right now in the NBA, so let's get down and let's check him out. Okay, so in this first clip, he's coming off of a screen where they switched the defenders on him. He knows that he's a much faster player than that defender, so he's able to do a quick snatch back for a three. Now, whenever a team switches off on you, this is a time in the game where you can then see, is this player a mismatch? If he's slower than you, one of two things you can do. You can do a quick crossover so that you can break his ankles, you can get an open shot, or can you get past him? Here, after that, after that switch, he does a quick snatch back through the legs and then he's able to then hop off here his right leg usually myself I would hop off the left to get even more distance away from that defender but he doesn't have to he has a high set point and because of that he's able to get that shot off I should also mention by hopping off that right foot you're actually a little bit more balanced than you would be if you were hopping off your left see the thing with Luka Doncic after he uses these screens here he had the defender go over top so he was able to curl in quick what he's able to do is collapse the defense onto him he has a lot of gravity so many players want to try and stop him from scoring and because of this he then has a lot of opportunities to not even shoot the ball but to create open shots for his teammates too but also when his team is able to pass that ball around the perimeter get that ball into the paint he's able to get open shots like this as we can see here when he's receiving that pass he's already thinking shot he understands that there's no defenders anywhere around him and because of that when he receives that ball and he's about to he hops off that right foot then he goes left right into his shot he has a very balanced shooting form with his shoulders in line with his knees and his toes and when he goes up for a shot it's a nice slow relaxed shot he's not trying to rush it now because his shot is so deadly and his drive is so deadly when he fakes these drives he sometimes basically loses those defenders and then he goes up to make it look like he's about to take that shot and guess what happens to the defender he then has to jump because he's like oh no I just had my ankles broken now I need to recover back and because of that when he does these fakes he's able to then get that defender off balance and he's able to then basically do a quick given go here he did get blocked but it was a foul called by this guy he's even able to take bigger stronger defenders in the low post here he does a quick cross but he's not very quick with it this is obviously in slow motion but if we rewind he does a quick push dribble twice with a crossover that then gets that defender down onto his heels after he does that crossover he does a quick a attack with his back and what I mean by attack is some players will hop more than others Luka Doncic actually doesn't hop all that much many players will try to hop back and try to make contact at first that's something that I personally do but he takes the more mythological approach where he tries to really back down slowly and all of these defenders remember what I said earlier they are watching him but they're spread out because they're worried about his passing ability because he has such an amazing passing ability he's able to then create open shots for himself because he's able to easily get into the paint no matter against who's going to defend him and then he's able to do these fadeaways he has such a high release point it's going to be hard for any defender to really block him and because of his passing ability all the defenders are kicked out because they're afraid of him passing to an open three-point shooter and especially when the score is where it's at he's able to get these shots off quite easily other times when he's going at the perimeter he does these quick crossovers to try and gauge what this defender is looking to do so as we all know Luka Doncic likes to drive and take players into the paint but he's also a very good three-point shooter so what will happen is when he does these slow crossovers that gets the defender down onto his heels ready for a drive you never want to be on your heels by the way from there he does another quick jab dribble where he jabs his foot forward and he takes that dribble like if he's about to attack that side he then takes that quick step back and because again his high set point it's extremely hard for that defender to block Luka Doncic is also very good when it comes to using screens but he's also very 
very good at using that backboard. Here he bounces that ball off way over to the side of that backboard. He doesn't hit the top corner of that square. He's hitting basically right there. He understands how to use the whole backboard to be able to get his shots made. He also has a ton of post moves and again even though he draws in a secondary defender he could have had a quick kick out for a very good three-point shooter over here. What we can see is he understands hey well this defender is going to try and pick me from this side I'm going to go this way and I'm going to do a quick fadeaway because nobody can really touch my fadeaway shot because I have such a high set point. Remember, if you want to have a very good fadeaway, what you want to have is your shoulder to have the same angle or the same bend as your regular shot, same as your elbow. And that means that if your body is slightly tilted like this, you also have to still keep that same angle on that shoulder with versus your actual body. So for example, if his body was like this, his elbow would be like this. However, his body instead is like this, which means that his arm is slightly more angled up just because his body is also angled up. And because of that high set point, this is why I say most players should have a high set point, is because it makes it so much harder to block. If you're a player who is trying to model your game around Luka Doncic, maybe you're a bit taller for your age and you have some handles, then this video might give you some ideas on what you can do. Really raise that set point to a point where it's actually kind of hard to block, but not uncomfortable for you to shoot. I hope that this video has helped you. If it has, hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys again next time.